design team and all of their production team to team up with all of our collectors and items to really hash out what kind of story did we want to tell about the Beatles. And we really wanted to pinpoint that moment where John met Paul and they started writing songs all the way until John Lennon's death, which ended the Beatles indefinitely. It's an ageless group and it's an ageless sound and the band was so influential in so many areas that it touches people in lots of different ways, in lots of different disciplines. It was, you know, they were influential in art, in music of course, in fashion, uh, in culture, and they continue to inspire people even today long after the Beatles have stopped playing together. I've been talking with a lot of people going through this exhibit today and people of all ages seem to love the Beatles. So people all the way from um, from really little are enjoying it, uh, all the way up to those who remember when the Beatles were here and can find special meaning in where they were when they first heard the Beatles. And we have the most accurate recreation of the Cavern Club, which is where the Beatles got their start in Liverpool. We took photographs of the actual bricks and have measurements down to the quarter centimeter of these bricks and the etchings on the back wall and the exact dimensions of the stage. So it really transports guests back in time to see what it would have been like to watch the Beatles perform on the Cavern Club stage. That's definitely an amazing takeaway. The Henry Ford is a perfect venue to host the U.S. premiere. The Beatles were perhaps the most innovative group, you know, musical groups of all time. And the Henry Ford is all about innovation. You've got Thomas Edison, you've got Henry Ford, two of history's greatest innovators, hosting four of history's other greatest innovators, and John, George, Paul, and Ringo. And it's a really wonderful fit.